welcome back to my channel guys i hope you're all doing well so in today's video we have a very special guest medusa we will be creating a need inspired makeup look uh, if you guys want to see how we achieve this look please keep watching before i start i'm going to tone her skin using simple toner now i'm going in with benefit brow kit to do her brows she already has really thick and jet black brows so i didn't want to do too much to her brows but obviously i'm gonna still fill in and give it a nice shape then i'm going to add max soft ochre primer on the eyelids once i've added the primer i then go in with the blending brush to blend the primer equally on the lids i'm now moving on to the eye makeup so for the eye makeup i've used two different eyeshadow palettes the first one is morphe 350 and be perfect carnival palette here I'm using the lightest shade in 350 palette, it's like matte and it's white so it helps to set the base. Then I've taken the brightest orange in 350 palette as a transition shade. I've then taken the shade Foolish and um, Wifey from Be Perfect palette. I'm now going in with shade Liquor from Be Perfect Palette. Now that I've deepened the crease, I'm going to keep blending it out till it's seamless. I'm now going to cut the crease using P. Louise Base. I'm now going to add some shimmer on the cut crease, but I didn't like any shimmer in 350 palette or perfect palette for this look so i used Huda beauty remastered rose gold palette in which i've used moon dust and 24k i'm then going to blend the edges so i then went ahead and added a smoked out liner and for the eyeliner i've used black bobby brown liner for the lower lid i'm using envy from be perfect palette To finish the eye look, I've then added some eyelashes. I'm now going in with the eye cream. This is CeraVe eye cream. I made sure that all the fallout has been removed before I apply the cream. I'm now going to moisturize her skin using Ember Lease moisturizer. I'm now going to color correct her skin using Derma Color Camouflage Concealers. Uh, I've applied a thin layer of orange corrector, then I went in with some concealer before I applied a foundation. The reason why I'm using my fingers to add the corrector and the concealer is because I do not want the product to move too much and at the same time with the brushes or beauty blender I feel like it's not going to give the coverage and maybe it's going to look cakey so it's better to blend it with your fingers. Now adding a thin layer of foundation using peaches and cream buffing brush. I'm just dabbing it in the skin, so making sure that none of the concealer that I've used underneath moves. I'm now adding Karina Kwan concealer under the eyes. I've added the concealer to the area that I want to highlight. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cream contour using Huda Beauty Tan Tour in shade medium. Then using Real Techniques Buffing Brush to blend the contour. Also, when I'm blending it on the cheeks, I'm barely, barely touching the brush. is because I want to make sure that I'm not moving any correctors that I put on underneath the foundation so I'm just lightly tapping the contour on the foundation I'm 
Now I'm going to set the under eye area using Charlotte Tilbury airbrush press powder. Then I'm going to bake the under eyes using Huda Beauty pound cake. To add some bronzer to the skin, I'm using Morphe Lo-Fi Palette. For the blusher, I'm using NARS Exhibit A blusher. For the highlight, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorizi highlighter. I've then lined the lips using House Laboratories RIP Lip Liner and filled them in with ABH Stripped Liquid Lipstick. For gloss, I've used Milani Plumping Gloss. To complete the look, I'm going to get rid of all the excess powder under the eyes. To set the makeup, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills to be set spray. So this is the complete look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. But before you go, I just want to mention if you're new to this channel, welcome to my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're already following me, please like, comment and share. Also, Eid Mubarak to the ones who are celebrating. I hope you have an amazing Eid. Have fun and stay safe. Lots of love. Bye for now.